Deoxyribonucleic acid is a double-stranded structure forming a double helix. If you took the DNA in one cell and stretched it out, it would be around 2 meters long. It is composed of a series of bases that link the strands together. A nucleotide is the repeating subunit, also known as a monomer, that makes up this polymer. It comprises of a phosphate group, a pento sugar, and a nitrogenous base. You can see how the nucleotides join together to form a DNA strand. If you look here, there are four different nitrogenous bases adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. These bases form specific pairs where A binds with T via two hydrogen bonds and G binds with C via three hydrogen bonds. You can use acronyms to help you remember the base pairings. Here's one I use. Gangsters can ask time. For the bases to be facing each other and therefore able to pair, the strands must be running in opposite directions. The two strands of DNA are therefore described as being anti-parallel. If we have a strand of DNA that looks like this, then the complementary strand would look like this, where A binds with C and so on. DNA was first identified in the 1860s by a Swiss chemist. In the subsequent years that followed, more and more information was revealed about the structure of DNA, which included things such as the basic nucleotide structure and the base pairing of DNA. This combined with X-ray crystallography contributed to Watson and Crick's discovery of the three-dimensional double helical model for the structure of DNA. DNA is found in the nucleus of a cell. The entire DNA of an organism is called the genome. The Human Genome Project was an international collaborative research program whose goal it was to complete the mapping and understanding of all the genes of human beings. The project started in 1990 and was completed by 2003. Sequencing our genome has allowed us to identify genes linked to diseases such as those responsible for causing cancer. Also, understanding the human genome can help us treat inherited disorders such as cystic fibrosis. Finally, we can use the Human Genome Project to trace human migration patterns in our history, which allows humans to identify their ancestry. DNA can wrap around proteins called histones to form thread-like structures called chromosomes. In humans, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes on which genes are located. Our non-sex chromosomes are described as homologous as they share the same structural features such as size and the same genes at the same positions. Our 23rd pair of chromosomes are our sex chromosomes and can be either XX in females or XY in males and are described as being non-homologous. A gene is a section of a molecule of DNA that codes for a specific protein. For example, eight genes have been identified as impacting eye color, which are located on the 15th chromosome. Each gene can code for a specific sequence of amino acids forming different proteins in organisms. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching or resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.